Hello guys, welcome back to a new video of Bloon City Battles. Today we are here in Trapaloon, uh, not Trapaloon Cave, but Bless the Populous. This is a post commentary due to the fact that. Yeah, my voice was different, and uh, this is a post commentary, so I'll make this a little bit faster in general. So I was playing Clue, Healy, and Farm, and yeah, so I'll make this a little bit faster, so it's gonna be 15 minutes long. There we go, I think that's perfect 15 minutes. No, it's not perfect 15 minutes. I want perfect 15 minutes. There we go, it's a little bit faster now for you guys as well. This should be perfect 15 minutes, it is not. It cannot be 15 minutes perfectly, that's fine with me. But, to welcome everybody back to a new video, my voice was different, it was a little bit high pitch. So I was checking my mic, apparently the cable wasn't correctly in. Um, my commentary wasn't even that good anyway, so I decided to do this. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so basically I was doing high mix eco with Healy Clue. Um, I was explaining everything why it would be so good, so I'm gonna explain it why again. And the reason is everybody's doing like only farm kind of strategy with low eco, like low eco, yeah, low economy. And I was like, yeah, why not do mix eco anyway? Because I'm the only one that does it anyway, so why not do it? So I'm doing it, and here we are. You can see I'm going Healy Clue. Uh, my opponent here is going Darkling Clue, by the way. I was a little bit trash talky there due to the fact I kind of knew that he was going Dark and Clue. And I just went for it and almost killed him with yellows if he didn't boost. And the thing is, I was really good with this game here. I was like really good with rushing. I went for a double cross of Clue. I didn't even leak a single life here as well. I didn't really want to leak a single life against a Dark and Clue wannabe player, so I went for it. But here I just decided to leak, it doesn't really matter. Because I wanted to grief my farm and it was a really good decision on my part. So, let's go, there we go. We got a 3-0, almost. Uh, in, this, in this video I actually went 3 games, or maybe 4 games, so I literally won every single time. I don't know why he went so talks against me. I was being normal, like pretty nice to him. I even said I was being normal and yeah, he kept face bombing was uh, being toxic and everything. I don't know why. So I explained, for example, that I didn't want to send him anything because I really want to go for a farm. And I did went forward, I think. Yeah. It was like 20 minutes ago, that first game. And I decided to do that, so it's pretty good. Then he sends me a Moab, which is pretty stupid due to the fact I literally can buy myself a downdraft. Of course he doesn't know how much money I got. But he dies to my Moab, which is fucking stupid, so I faced him twice before he left. And that's basically it. Then, of course, you can see me clicking on my music, because it always stops at some point, which is kind of stupid. Then I accidentally opened my uh, wallpaper engine, because happens if you mouse is a little bit fast, or if the game is behind, or forward, or next to it to wallpaper engine. I always go for, you know, the road spike start. And here I thought the king is going ninja from mortar, due to the fact he's starting off with a ninja. But I was wrong. Here I was like, why is he going double shot? He would literally just go for the mortar. Then it hits me. He might go ninja ice or ninja glue. And I was like, what the hell? Why? And then he and I was like wondering, why is he sending me blues? Like, sure, he's making me leak a shit ton. But like, it's not gonna force me anything, I'm just gonna boost here, go for my quad darts. Like, before my boost also ends. And then he sends me bloom boosted black, so I'm like, yeah sure, that's fine with me. And you can see I have not died here. Pretty close though, but I forced him to also keep on sending those greens. And that was a pretty much big W on my part here. Made sure that this guy is also getting his defense up. And yeah. I think that's pretty decent, considering that my opponent here, King, is doing Ninja Farm Clue, which means he's gonna die to Camelettes. And yeah, it's pretty, pretty simple here. If he goes for his Flash Bomber, that's a pretty smart move. So I went and sent him a, uh, a uh, Camelette. He went for it, 
And yeah, he sends me a Camelot, which is kind of stupid considering I already had the Grazer Rotors. So, I was preparing myself to go for another Clue Splatter in case he goes for it. Accidentally press the info there, which nobody really needs to see. And then I was like, yeah, let's go for the round 15 bank. And I went for it. I was surprised I even had the money for that. So I went, sent in a little bit of a rush. It's a rush of a layer, but it seems like it was a try in whale, sadly, and therefore I'm a little bit low in money. I was like, should I send him a MOAP or not? And I was like, no. I'm not gonna send him a MOAP. Then I went for a downdraft, which is kinda stupid, but again, he was boost bloom boosting the MOAP, and I decided just to go for the downdraft, and I went for it. And the good thing is about this is I have not collected my BI. Or rather, my, my bank. So I actually have done it, and that's basically it. I sent him a MOAP to force a Bloon Jitsu and a Clue Hose. My guess is that I have made him collect his bank due to the fact he already went for the BI. Then I went for a bank, hoping I get a BI next round, or for the next round. But sadly, it did not go as planned, and yeah, I missed my eco there. My 50 eco, sadly. But that's fine. I had to greed boost this sadly, or else I would have died there. And then there is also panic boost coming up, I think around 25 ish. Here you can see I'm just casually ecoing, because eco is actually pretty viable with this strategy. And you see next game why. Because I didn't eco around 23 sadly enough, because my opponent ran a different strategy than my opponent here. So I went for another Healy and then a. Um, Downdraft. Almost had to boost there, but I didn't, which is a really good thing. Send him a BFB. Went for the uh, thing here. I obviously went for a Boom Boost, and I shouldn't really have to because I was forced to go for the Apache anyway. That's why I faced by myself there. And sadly enough, I'm low in money basically, but since I have so much eco, I'm vibing actually, and therefore my opponent here. It's gonna lose here, and my goal was to go for 3000 eco anyway, before round 30, and we got it. Now you can see, I have 3 rock fabrics, now it's 3 factories. Ha! Huh. I was out farming! Weird thought, weird thought. So, we get on farming and captain farming, and yeah, we basically won at this point. My opponent here. Cannot. Ooh, excuse me, cannot win this at all because I'm sending him a CMG. But the sad part, sadly, is that he died <laughs> to AI. And yeah, that's kind of a spoiler alert, but he, he sadly died to AI, which is the Regency press. Because he didn't went for the glue hose. He went for the stupid liquefier, and that's why he dies here, sadly enough. So yeah, I was like swagging left right away and paused it and unpaused it to find our next one, and which is a YouTuber apparently with the name Flash CR. And I said I really want to play Call of Duty, but apparently it reset it. So yeah, kind of weird. And you can see he's going NG farm something, and I was like, is he actually going NG Ninja? If that's the case, I won automatically. But I figured that he was not going NG Ninja, but going NG Healy. Because most of the people who watch, for example, Lokash or me, if I play Healy Clue sometimes, then of course he's gonna go NG Healy with Funked. <laughs> so I Bloom Boosted here to force his sprockets and make sure that he does not get his plantation here anytime soon. And he sold his NG to go for the plantation. Spoiler it again, because I know the games. So I went for that. He now sends me yellows for the boost. But jokes on him. I am a low life warrior. So rush me again, I dare you. I double road spike this just to be safe. And I leaked to 51 lives. And I was basically vibing. I got 525. 24 eco, 55 eco, 56 9 eco, 
And I face bombed. I tried to bait him to get his balloon trap up. And of course I went for the uh, the thing called race orders because I had no life advantage anymore. I baited him to go for the balloon trap with three sets of whites. Sadly the one set of white did not force him, or else that would be much more better. But three sets are also pretty good because it is uh, $375 against 3.8k dollars worth for defense. So I'm pretty decent there. I made him boost with a tiny rush, which was pretty well layered to around 16 zebras, which was just two sets of lads and I think three sets of blacks. So it was pretty worth a toe boost there for me. And yep, yeah, there goes NG Healy. I was like, why didn't he just go for the Healy run 13 in case I would have rushed him or allowed him? Because yeah, it wouldn't have happened, but. Then I face bombed him due to the fact he went for the BI. But I didn't know he's gonna defend the BFP. So I sent him a BFP. I was like, fuck it, I'm gonna send him a BFP anyway after my BI. Because I wanted to save it up, but guess not. And I was also, I was like trash talking him as well. Why? Like, why did he send me a BFP? And also Bloom boosted as well, but you do, man. So I went for 3 road uh, down draft and I boosted because he bloom boosted that as well. So I bloom bo tower boosted that. Just to be safe obviously in case he moves and glue. And I just kept on farming. I also wanted to sell my down draft to go for the BI, but sadly again, really bad luck on my part with the end of the end around. And that's the reason why I said I cannot go for white eco due to the fact that he has three plume traps. So what is my guess I'm going for now? Three BIs. Why? It gives me more eco. Why? For their later rounds. Why? <laughs> for more factories later. And once again, why? Because I can. Three BIs are so good. It's so decent. That he can get so much eco and defense out of it. It's crazy. So I went for my secondary or my third BI this round here most likely. Uh, did I? Yeah, I did because I saw my downdraft. I felt a little bit more safer, so I went for it. And now I decided for my factory. I was like, should I go for 3k or should I not go for 3k? And I was like, no. I'll probably sell my BI soon. Uh, I saw my two downdrafts on my one downdraft and my one Razor Rodos to go for my Apache. I was like, should I go for a factory since I had the money? And I was like, no, because I would have just died there anyway. And I was like, he would have died there, but it's just green lag, so no, we're not really. So I went for my factory. I was looking at my BIs, looking if they're cooking up, and they are pretty nice cooking. And I decided to just collect them and went for my factories. And I'm out farming my opponent pretty nice here. And I decided just to go with the selling path now. And you can see I'm out farming somewhat because my eco is better and therefore we are cooking and I decided to go for more glue hoses and he still has one farm ahead of me I think. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, no, I have one more farm and I went for another 3 farms after this, after this CMG, because I wanted more money. I was about to go for that one, but I wanted to go for that other one because I can hit three farmers or three farms there with one farmer. So I went there and went for the farm because I'm a greedy son of a gun. Of course, the first CMG is quite easy. He kept on sending those CMGs and I went for the Apache just to be safe. And I also said, yeah, I should not go for the camos, but I still went for it. You don't really need camos when you have five Apache on camo sense, but. Doesn't really matter. So, yeah, I went for more Apaches. Sent them around 35 for a lot CMG, basically. With three uh, factories left for the money. And yeah, we are cooking. If you think I don't have factories anymore, you're wrong. I still have three factories. Meanwhile, he has also three. Two. One. Zero. I have still three factories left. Yeah, he lost. And that's why... Healy Glue is just way better. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you're new, feel free to subscribe. It's always free. You can always change your mind later. And I'll see you guys as usual in the next video.
Peace out. Love you guys. And see ya. Peace.